foreigners do not get the beautiful white skin educated Filipina women in the Philippines. Now that is something that I read in one of the Philippines uh, Facebook groups, a foreigner group, and it really didn't sit well with me for several reasons. Now I've been in and out of the Philippines for the past five years and I can tell you that this person is wrong. Now let me go ahead and read you the exact uh, wording of this comment before we go ahead and dive a little bit into this whole topic, whether it's true, untrue, and we'll discuss all about it. So let's go ahead and take a look right now quickly. This person says, walking around Cebu City, I have the impression that I don't see truly beautiful, white skin, educated, and graduate Filipino women with foreigners. Am I wrong to say that foreigners go with girls that Filipinos don't take, like single mothers or women from very poor families? Okay, firstly, that is just not true. Uh, I do hundreds of interviews on the streets and when I'm out there, I see a lot of men, foreigner men with Filipina women that are light skin that do seem to be beautiful. I'm not sure if they're mothers or not, but I don't see any kids with them. And as far as education goes, I know they are because I've spoken to people, I've interviewed people that literally date beauty pageant winners. And you know, it's not one or two. I've, I've talked to at least three people that at some point, the Filipina partner had won some kind of pageant in the past so that is firstly from my personal experience completely untrue now there is a little bit of observation that he's made that can be accurate now what i mean by that is that filipinos that are let's say white skin okay not to mention this whole white skin comment can be taken as racist a little bit whether to include or exclude somebody basically just on their skin color I don't know because we all have preferences so maybe this person just like the fair skin nothing racist but to say it out loud can come out loud can come across a bit uh, discriminatory but that's just my personal opinion so firstly like I mentioned I've seen people with beautiful women and but what he says about single mothers it's just that the single mother rate in the Philippines is high and that's because like for example divorce is not legal as far as uh, Filipino and Filipino. So a lot of men, when they separate, the mothers get left with the kids. And same with contraception not being openly available or as easily accessible to everybody. Also education, right? But before I tell you guys even more about that stuff, let's go ahead and see uh, what the community thinks of his post because there were some, there were some people that really let him have it. So um, someone says, it's also the other way around. Filipinas go with foreigners that women abroad don't take. A lot of people that come to the Philippines are retirees or they're looking to um, make their money stretch. I'm gonna make a whole video about the type of people that come to the Philippines. So with that being said, their physical shape, their age may not be at the prime, at the peak because men that are physically fit, that are younger, that are much more handsome or even well off, they will not be coming to the Philippines because they have their own jobs, their own lives from whichever foreign country they are in. So they're busy making money, earning money, trying to set up themselves for their retirement, for the future. So a lot of people that come to the Philippines are those people, perhaps maybe in their 60s or 70s, 80s even. I've spoken to many people in the 80s that seem to be healthy and very happy in the Philippines. So that point they made, I don't know about that, but that's because the demographic of people that travel to the Philippines typically is a bit older and that's just because of what Philippines has to offer as far as cost of living and just a lot of other comforts that I'll talk about in a different video. So I can see what that person's saying and it's not really because Western women don't want them, it's because I feel a lot of Western men just don't want to be with Western women at this moment based on how standards are going through the roof when it comes to dating over there. Um, another comment says, what a bad start to my day to read your comments how on earth can you tell if a single mother or poor? Why judgmental anyways? The place obviously is not for you. You won't be happy ever. Another thing, you know, not only in the Philippines, but internationally, there's this stigma. If you have darker skin, it just means you're poor. There is some truth to that because uh, throughout history, people that work in farms, people that work outside, if they're women or if they're men, they work construction, laborers, jobs, especially in countries that are tropical, close to the equator, they'll be outside a lot more. Naturally, you get darker because you get tanned. And if you do that all your life, therefore, typically you have a darker skin. It's just human biology. It's nothing to do with poverty or being rich. 
However, these days, people can be descendants or kids and children of darker skinned people, but they've educated themselves, they have diplomas, they have jobs that perhaps they do online, uh, whether it's marketing, or computer programming, computer science, sales, whatever it is, you can still be in your home. And if you've ever been to the Philippines, you know that it's hot. Even myself, I went to the beach yesterday, you can see a difference in my skin color. Does that necessarily make me poor or rich? I don't know, but it is a universal thing when you talk about skin color that many times it automatically associates with a level of financial freedom and success somebody might have. Now that is really embedded into human nature. I think it's going to take uh, decades, if not centuries, for that to kind of be neutralized. But yeah, so that's where probably that's coming from. As far as single motherhood, we talked about it briefly at the beginning of this video. However, you can't really tell if somebody has a kid, really. I mean, maybe if they're pregnant, you can see it, but otherwise, Filipinas are petite. They do look good, especially compared to West, most Western women, I would say, that they do have a more you know, fit bodies. They're just smaller, more petite, and they probably work out or work hard. I have no clue, but regardless, um, there's a lot more fit people I've seen in the Philippines than I did in Toronto, Canada. But then again, um, that could be an age thing as well. So regardless, that is that point. I want to, I'm going to read another comment here. Let's see what other people say. This one made me laugh a little bit because um, firstly, this person's by their name and where they live, they seem to be of Italian nationality. And uh, somebody mentioned this because they read the post uh, from before. Someone commented this. You, on the other hand, searching online for a place to live for 15000 per month, including utilities, that's 500 pesos a night. Please come back without the man bun once you have earned some money. Burn. That is accurate because this person in their photo does seem to be rocking a man bun. I personally would much rather be bald than to have a man bun. However, when it comes to looking for a place for 15000 I mean... There's no defending that this clearly this person's on a budget perhaps or i shouldn't really be talking about things one more thing there we go so if you're looking for fifteen thousand dollars a month a room in cebu with all utilities included a good place means you probably are on a budget therefore you cannot be participating getting involved with some um activities because of your budget therefore you probably are hanging around people that are not very affluent or have a lot of money let's say you go to the bars and the malls and you see these types of women that you're speaking about because let's be honest rich people don't go hanging around at the bars they don't go hanging around at least the bars that you would go to at fifteen thousand a month they will not be hanging around the malls or hanging around with foreigners let's face it a rich filipina that's good looking and young most likely probably has a partner already um, via their own social media platforms. Perhaps uh, growing up, they have a friend. Regardless, they're not going to be looking for a foreigner. So on the point of education, most Filipinos I've spoken to in Cebu City are graduates of university because the standards of even getting a regular McDonald's or service job is very high in the Philippines. It is not like Canada or the US where a 16 year old can go ahead while in high school, get a job working at these places. The standards of obtaining a regular service job in the Philippines is extremely high. So many of the people are educated. Regardless of what you might think about their education system, they have been going to universities, they do get uh, their diplomas, and they put a lot of work into it. Plus, they also have police clearances before having these jobs, showing that they did not get involved in the low-level activity that you might think a poor person, perhaps, might be involved in. Another comment reads, you come to the Philippines looking for white skin? Clearly, if you want beauty like that, perhaps consider Scandinavian countries. Uh, they are white over there, European countries. But then again, your budget is 15000 so perhaps you can't afford to visit those places. Let me read one last thing. Someone says, has it ever occurred to you that educated and graduate Filipinas won't simply be walking around Cebu City all the time? Most weekdays they'll be working. If they are not already an OFW, which is Overseas Filipino Worker, taking advantage of their qualifications so they can make more money abroad. And for those still in the Philippines, most of their free time won't be spent on your average mall's dossing. And like someone else here has mentioned already, if they are with you, then it's going to be nothing to do with how much money you could bring to the table, but how much happiness you could bring to them as it's completely their choice. 
to be with you. So you better be ready for someone who is independent, not submissive, and will have loads of suitors challenging for those spots to be with her. Absolutely. like Just like any other country, if you're looking for the top of the line beauty, they're going to have competitors. They will have people that are interested, that are most likely better than you in many of the categories as uh, to physical appearance, financial stability, so on and so on. I just thought that was a really unnecessary comment. Even if this person feels that way, why go online in a Facebook group and post something like that? There's so much negativity out there. And I've even seen it myself recently with uh, just other foreigner channels, foreigners misbehaving. There's so much negative energy out in space. And if I can go ahead and counter some of these by providing my personal experience, why not? I will go ahead and do that on my part. Personally, I've been in the Philippines in and out for the past five years. I've met some of the most beautiful people, some of the most caring, kind, friendly I don't understand how someone can be in this country, in the Philippines, and still be so negative. I just, I don't know what the intention is behind that. I would love to hear from you. Leave your comments down below in the comment section. If you take the time to write it, I will take the time to respond. What do you think of that post? I will go ahead and read it one more time in case you forgot what this person said. This was the original post. Walking around Cebu City, I have the impression that I don't see truly beautiful, white-skinned, educated, and graduate Filipino women with foreigners. Am I wrong to say that foreigners go with girls that Filipinos don't take, like single mothers or women from poor families? Hmm. I will leave it at that. If you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, let YouTube know you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video. Bye.